Not a whole lot of attention is paid to trailers, but trailers are where your boat spends the majority of its life on. So with that, we're gonna show you some of the best bunks on the market, period. These are called Gatorback bunks. You can get regular ones or the ones that light up just like this. Full tutorial starting now. For most of us, we all have bunk carpets, which flattens out, thins out, tears, and eventually becomes pretty useless only within the first few tries of your boat going out in the water. These bunks are made to last pretty much forever. They are UHNW plastic, super slick, super robust, and your boat will never wear these down to the point where they start scratching the hole against the hardware from the bunk itself. These are plush lights. These are extremely thick compared to, say, your normal LED underwater lights, which are really generally insufficient for extreme water submersion. We're gonna be sticking these plush lights in there, and we cut that groove right out there with a the router that's a half inch groove, and that's exactly what the plush lights sit into. We also have end caps that we're gonna go ahead and install first before we actually install the Gatorback bunks themselves. You also have to be conscious because you have to screw this end cap right into there, and right where we have that groove notched out is right where we screw one of the end caps in. So we'll have to show a mod on how to get around that, but Gatorback recommends that you make the groove towards the outer side of the bunk. And this will show the best through the bunk while your boat is still in the trailer. But if you don't care about that, you can run them through the middle or you can run them through the inner mount if you don't want them to really show on the trailer at all through the night. Since we've run them the outer edge, we're gonna go ahead and run a hole through the end cap to make clearance for the wire so we don't have to hinder where the screw has to go for the end cap into the bunk board. We're gonna go ahead and notch out to make sure everything fits flush. And then we're gonna preserve these in oil-based enamel. FYI, those wires hook directly into your trailer lights, into the brown wire, and then a negative to the trailer itself. If done right, these plush lights should just fit right in there. And the groove should be like so, and the wire should hang out through that little hole we modded through the end cap. And the end caps just go in with simple screws. Gatorback sends a ton of high quality stainless steel screws to mount both the end caps and the entire Gatorback bunk itself. Like as plastic I've ever felt. And so we're going to match it up here with the seam. Go ahead and install both bunk caps, but install one part of the Gatorback bunk and secure it to the side, and that should give you right where you need to cut flush with a utility knife to the other side. Taking extreme caution not to cut any part of the wire or the lights themselves. Once that's there, we just kind of mesh them up. We drill a bunch of pilot holes so we don't crack the stud itself, and we just make way for the ton of stainless steel screws they give us to secure these. There should absolutely be no reason these bunks ever come off the board, ever, if done right. We're just spacing these out about six inches a piece. Note that you don't need to use the lights. They have a straight black bunks that look really well. And they also have these if you just like the clear look themselves. But they look pretty nice with or without the lights. But they look even better when they're lit up. Now just to install them. We're gonna go ahead and install a bunch of four x four studs underneath here after we kind of just move the trailer. The boat itself here is really light, but in a heavier boat, you're likely gonna have to use a car jack of some sort with very secure braces and frames so the boat doesn't fall on you because that would be devastating. We're just gonna go ahead and match up the brackets Mimic everything as it was and transfer it over and install those bunks just as the stock ones are installed. They look pretty clean. I'm a huge night fisherman. Like I live to fish at the night and I have my boat set accordingly and these bunks just match right up with it. So when you're out there in pitch black with no moonlight and nothing out there on the dock ramp, try and hit the gray light before everybody else does, know that you'll be able to see everything. You'll be good to go. We installed them on this Illumicraft V14 trailer and it was just great. And then we went to go dock it back on. It was like we had just like guide lights. I would imagine that it's very much like how a pilot navigates his plane down the runway at night with tons of lights. They look pretty sweet. And since most of the time you're launching before gray light, these are gonna show up right when you're on the launching ramp in front of all your buddies in the tournament. 
We even installed them on our buddy Nick's Tracker V18. They, I think they came out even better on his. I mean, he had longer, thicker, wider bunks, and they were really, really good. We fished all night on the river. There were literally no lights on the ramp, nothing. And we just, we were able to see everything. You're we able to see right down to the very, very clear bottom of the lake with these on, and you could just get right up there with these with no problems. Fishing in the night is some of the best times you're ever gonna get on fish, but it's also most risky. On this lake out here, there's a lot of people that come up missing at night, and it sucks. You see the entire team out there come up and try and light up the entire lake, search boats up and down, and nobody can find them. So if you go out there at night, be safe, and make sure you have as many lights as you can possibly have on the boat. This was my cruise boat. They came out to visit me when we were out here for a little bit, and we fished the night on our last day. So I'm gonna end this video with our last day of fishing, and here's what we got, and here's how our entire boat system works. it for him. They're both gonna have a rude awakening. Uh, unless the whole thing's messed up, but they're <clears throat> Stripper! Stripper! Yeah, buddy. There it is. Brian, you're gonna release, release that beast. Oh, it went in. There it goes. It went. Nick's got something. I hooked him right across the... He's hooked like five ways from <laughs> Shally, dude. That's why he felt so big. Sweet. Hell yeah. I hooked him right in the gut and the mouth. In the gut. No, he, he still got him in the mouth, right? I did, but I got him in the mouth. Get on the water, buddy. But he never has had like their secret menu. Never had the animal style? Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna get you the biggest animal burger right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bring a milkshake? Yeah. What, what kind? Uh, uh, Is this kind of medicine tomato okay? Live stream. I can't believe our trip's already ended. It went by so fast, but it's so good. After a good night of fishing, there is no better way to end the night than with an In-N-Out burger. That is perfection right there.
Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think. And here's a little action of them on the road just in case you're wondering how bright they are when you're going down the road and if they're going to get you pulled over by cops, which should not be an issue at all. It hasn't been an issue so far. But if it is, we'll probably make a video about it. Thank you much, guys. Shout out to my crew for helping me do this video. See you guys next time you roll in town. Peace.